So I'm here at my machine and I'm ready to start appliquing my Mod Cat. As you can see, this is the top of the neck of the Mod Cat right here. I don't have the head on yet, but we're going to do the body first. And I want to show you some tips and tricks along the way that I've learned. One of the things I like to do is pull my bobbin thread up to the top first before I even start stitching. And the way I do that is I actually take one stitch in place. So I lower my needle to the edge of the applique and then I raise it back up. If you don't have a button that actually automatically does that for you, you can actually crank your hand wheel on the side one full rotation and that will bring the needle down and then back up again in place. And as you can see, if I pull on the top thread, the bobbin thread pops right up. Here's my green bobbin thread and I'm just going to pull that up alongside the orange thread, which is the top thread, and take both those threads in my fingers behind me and hold on to them as I start stitching. I'm going to want to put my needle onto the right side of the presser foot, so I'm going to hit uh, my needle to jump over to the right side or again you can crank your hand wheel and it will flip over to the right side which is the start of your zigzag stitch. I'll put my presser foot down and I'll lower my needle right on to the outer edge of the applique and I'm ready to go. If you have a secure stitch function, you can go ahead and engage it. And the secure stitch function actually is on your machine. It usually is like a little knot or a little um, circle on a button. And that will take a couple stitches in place. Here goes my Bernina. And then you'll start the zigzag. That secures the stitch. For the zigzag on the applique, I like to keep the edge, uh, keep to the edge of the applique. So as you can see, I'm zigging onto the outside edge and my needle stops right there on the outside edge and I'm zagging onto the edge of the applique. I just happen to think that looks best. So once you get yourself set up and you're ready to go, you just start on the straightaway. So I'm here at my machine and I want to show you how to maneuver around curves. Um, the general rule of the road is that if you have an outside curve like this, you're going to stop and pivot on the outside of the curve. So you're going to want to stop with your needle down in the fabric on the outside of the applique and then pivot with your needle down. And what I mean by pivot is actually stop with the needle down, lift the presser foot and pivot the quilting sandwich or the background fabric from right to left depending on which way the curve's going. So for this one I'm going to pivot kind of slightly to the left and it's ever so slight movements. I might take one stitch here and then you see I'm stopping on the outside and I'm pivoting another stitch, pivot, another stitch, pivot, and you keep doing this until you can maneuver around the outside of the curve uh, keeping your stitching as uniform as possible and then you'll be on the straightaway again. So the next thing I want to show you is how to take an inside curve. And the general rule of the road is just the opposite of an outside curve. So if it's an inside curve, you're going to stop and pivot on the inside portion of the applique as you take this curve. And coming into this point here where the tail of this Mod Cat meets the body, that's considered an inside curve. So let's see how that's done. I'm going to stitch down, just like I would, into the curve or the point. And I'm going to stop with my needle down on the inside of the applique. I'm then going to lift my presser foot and pivot ever so slightly take one stitch, pivot again, and the idea is to keep hitting that center point right here as I maneuver around the outside of this curve. So I'm going to keep trying to get back to that middle point as I come around the curve. Patience is the name of the game, and once you feel like you've got it, you can just hit the straightaway. So the last thing I want to show you is how to maneuver in and out of a point like this fish fin here. Um, I do what I call a lazy man's way of maneuvering in and out of a point. There are some people who can are very good at dialing down their stitch width and as they approach the point and then you would dial it back up as you come out of the point. I've never been very good at that so I came up with a lazy man's way of doing it 
and I'll show you how to do that. So you simply stitch down all the way down up and over the point like so. And you can see I'm going completely over the point. I'm then going to turn, lift my presser foot and turn the uh, piece about 45 degrees or when it's perpendicular, perpendicular to the presser foot. And I'm going to take one stitch. And what this one stitch does is I you notice it went over and then back out again and completed the stitch. Now I'm on the other side of the point. I simply turn again the piece and I go straight down over all that point and everything else and continue along on my way. And what that does is create stitching over the point just like you see right here.